We're full of amazing features today. This one is also great. This is the original iMac. It's CD-ROM drives. Great, very reliable, worked well. But we wanted to make it better. We wanted to make it more consumer friendly. We wanted to make it more reliable. And so every new iMac has a built-in slot load CD-ROM. This is incredible. No more fingerprints on the laser lens. No more pieces of toast in your drive. <coughs> it's really cool. And the disc just comes right out. When you put it in, it just sucks it right in. Eject it, it comes right out. In, out. It's so cool. And it's beautiful, too. So a new slot load CD-ROM drive built into every new iMac. Another amazing feature built into every new iMac is the ability to accept airport. We're bringing airport down to the iMac. Now, airport, as you know, airport is our wireless networking. It is a wireless local area network, runs at 11 megabits per second, and is total industry standard. And this is the airport base station. And the airport base station has a built-in modem running at 56K, and it's got built-in Ethernet. So you can connect to a terrestrial modem or cable or, or, or uh, a DSL modem, and you, or you could connect uh, to any other terrestrial network. And you, this thing all of a sudden brings you alive with airport. So you can put an airport base station anywhere in your classroom or house or office, and it will talk to this, an airport card. And the airport card goes right inside your new iMac with really easy access. You remember that door on the bottom? With the one with the memory in it? You just open it back up again, grab your airport card, it slips right down in there. Close the door, and you are now on airport. And you can have up to 10 computers, iMacs, iBooks, PowerBooks, or G4s, all sharing one base station. And they can all be up to 150 feet away from that base station. That's half a football field away. And we're bringing this stuff to market, as you know, with very aggressive pricing. $299 for the base station, $99 for the airport card. This is far below what anyone else has announced or is talking about. And we're extremely pleased with this stuff, and it ships this month. So airport, an amazing feature in the new iMac. One last one. I've got to get a little drink before this one. Because this one is my favorite. Unlike the other amazing features built into every new iMac, this is not a feature that every other computer doesn't have, but the new iMac has. This is a feature that every other computer has, but the new iMac doesn't have. And what is it? No fan. The iMac has been engineered to convection cool. This is familiar if you know the handle on the original iMac. We've added ventilation around it and integrated that all together. The engineers have done a brilliant job lowering the power and designing it to totally convection cool. It's wonderful. Now, why have we gone to all this trouble? Because of noise. We've made the computers beautiful to look at. We want to make them beautifully sounding. Now, what does that mean? Well, when you're playing a game or listening to music, sounding great means you've got this great Harman Kardon audio system built in, and that's wonderful. We've done that. But what if you're not? Then great sound means silence. You don't want to have to turn your computer off to get rid of the noise. Well, when you're looking at sound, you measure sound in decibels. Decibel, Alexander Graham Bell. And in decibel measurement system, seven decibels equals about double the perceived loudness. So if something's seven decibels louder than something else, is twice as loud as you hear it. Well, let's give you some reference. A typical office has an ambient noise level about 30 decibels, home a few less, and most people see quiet at about 20 decibels. Right? So where are we when the new IMAX are active? 
They are about seven decibels less than all of our competitors. They're running 30 decibels, nothing more than the ambient noise level in a typical office, and half the noise. They are twice as quiet as HP's, Dell's, Compact's, Gateway's, you name it. Twice as quiet. But when the new iMacs, after you stop using them for about two minutes or so, they idle down the hard disk. And then they go down to 14 decibels. Okay? That's eight times as quiet as our competitors. That is below the hearing level of most people. You cannot hear it. And what it means is you never have to turn your computer off to get rid of the noise. These things are silent. I walked into a room of about a dozen of these new iMacs, and they were all on, and I couldn't even hear them. It's unbelievable. So, silence. One of the last frontiers, iMac. One of the only computers since the original Mac in 1984 to not need or have a fan. Unbelievable. And so, these... These are some of the amazing features built into every new iMac, and we've basically clothed them in an, a new, refined design. Again, the day after we shipped the original iMac, our engineering team and design team went to work on designing something even a little smaller and far more beautiful. And it's my pleasure to ask you to join me in saying hello to the new iMac. Here it is. <clears throat> Take a look at this thing. Come on over here. This thing is so beautiful. It's going to give us a once around here. It's about an inch shorter than its predecessor. And you'll notice that you can see all the way through the top now. That that metal that went down the sides of the original iMac covering all the electronics inside isn't there anymore because the electronics aren't there anymore. We've compressed them all down to lie horizontally right here. So take a look. You can see my hand all the way through there. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Here's the new integrated vent and handle. Here's our new easy access connector ports right there. Here's our new sound system right here. And you can see the speaker enclosures right here. Right there. Here's our new slot load drive. Isn't it beautiful? It's really wonderful. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and show you the drive right now. I've got a CD-ROM here. And I'll put it in. Check this out. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and that's what it's like when it comes out. So it just goes in and just say... I think it's really cool. <laughs> and there it is. So there's nothing like this on the market. It is far more beautiful than anything I think that we've ever made before. And uh, I'm just thrilled with it. I'm really, really thrilled with it. The new iMac. So, here's a shot of the side, a shot of that speaker bubble right there, a shot of the front. And uh, what I'd like to do now is just to show you that Rage 128 chip. I'd like to get Phil back here. He's got somebody set up backstage with another iMac, another new iMac. Both have airport in it, and he's going to show us playing a game, what it's like to play a game. Thanks, Steve. This is so cool to be the first one to play a game on a new iMac. And you all get to be there with us. So this is a brand new iMac running right up here, and I'm going to open up one of the best games on the web, Quake 3 Arena. It is a test version that's been out there for people to use on the web. I'm going to open it up on a brand new iMac, launch Quake 3, and here we are in the game. Great sound system. Subwoofer sounds just like that. <laughs> and we have now Backstage, David on my team has got another iMac 